Well, the Kings set off some fireworks of their own this 4th of July, signing some seasoned players. The big money move is meant to balance out the younger players the Kings have acquired the last two seasons. CBS 13's Drew Belay is live in downtown tonight with details about the new players and fan reaction, Drew. They're loving it, huh? Yeah, they really are. And the Sacramento Kings, they got a lot older just today. They signed only two players, but added 26 years of experience to the court. And that's a big move that mixed with some youth that they picked up in the draft that has a lot of fans really looking forward to this next season. Just wasn't, I would say, fit right now what we try to do. The shift has been happening for months. We made a clear uh, decision to go and uh, make it, you know, culture change. It began with the DeMarcus Cousins trade. From there, several more high-priced players were let go. That was the final piece of this team that Vlade did not personally sign, trade, or, or draft. Kings fan and radio personality Carmichael Dave says the moves by the front office show a philosophy shift. You have a, a different culture. You have a different style. Today, the Kings signed veteran George Hill out of Salt Lake City. And all-star big man Zach Randolph from Memphis. He previously played under Kings head coach Dave Yeager. Anything is possible right now, so I mean that's why everybody's so happy right now. The additions have fans like Jason Siebenthal feeling good about the future. I'm probably one of the few Kings fans who actually believe that they might actually make the playoffs. The new players are in their 30s, and it balances out those headlining picks from the NBA draft last month. The Sacramento Kings select. De'Aaron Fox. The Kings now have nine players under the age of 24. It allows these rookies to come in and not have all the pressure in the world on their shoulders. Dave says next season should be exciting with youth and experience side by side. You have to develop off the floor as well as on the floor. And I think guys like Zach uh, and guys like George Hill fit that bill perfectly to mentor these young guys. So if nothing else, the Kings are at least winning the offseason. Now they got to translate that into winning on the court. And they have some time to prepare all those young guys that were drafted. They're taking part in the Summer League happening now in Vegas. That's right. There is certainly a lot of talent there. That's for sure. Let's see if they can do it. I'm, I'm a little nervous to use the playoff word. Yeah, it'll be we'll fun see. to watch. It'll be we'll fun see. to watch. <laughs> Drew, thanks, thanks, Drew.